good morning students today we are going to discuss the difference between type 1 and type 2 superconductors right so first difference is that type 1 superconductors are called soft superconductors why they are called soft superconductors because they easily lose their superconducting state by low intensity magnetic field and type 2 superconductors are called hard superconductors because they does not easily lose their superconducting state by external magnetic field right they uh, type 1 superconductor exhibit complete Misner effect whereas type 2 superconductors exhibit partial Misner effect or they do not exhibit complete Misner effect in case of type 1 superconductors the transition between superconducting state to normal state is abrupt and sharp right whereas in case of type 2 superconductors the transition between superconducting state to normal state is not abrupt and sharp whereas it is gradual or slow right so again i repeat the transition from a superconducting state to a normal state in case of type 1 superconductors is sharp and abrupt when we apply external magnetic field whereas in case of type 2 superconductors the transition from a superconducting state to a normal state due to external magnetic field is gradual but not sharp and abrupt at lower critical field the superconducting behavior uh, starts to when uh, we can say in case of lower uh, critical field superconducting starts losing its superconductivity and at upper critical field that superconducting behavior completely loses its superconductivity and the material converts to normal conductor right and in between lower critical field and upper critical field this state is called mixed state or vortex state in this state the material uh, exhibit superconducting state as well as normal state or you can say material behave as a superconductor as well as a normal conductor in between this state again i repeat the third point for type 2 superconductors the transition from a superconducting state to normal state due to external magnetic field is gradual and it is not sharp and abrupt at lower critical field at c1 the superconductor starts losing its superconductivity and at upper critical field the type 2 superconductor completely loses its superconductivity the state between lower critical field and upper critical field is known as intermediate state or vortex state or mixed state right that is the third difference and in case of fourth difference you just draw the diagrams for both the superconductors right next difference is that they have only one critical in case of type 1 it have only one critical magnetic field in case of type 2 superconductors it have two critical magnetic fields that is called lower critical field and upper critical field as you can see in this diagram in case of type 1 it has only one critical magnetic field in case of type 2 it has two critical magnetic fields hc1 and hc2 right again in case of type 1 type 1 superconductors the material loses its magnetization abruptly whereas in case of type 2 superconductor the material loses its magnetization gradually right examples of type 1 superconductors are aluminium lead mercury whereas examples of type 2 superconductors are nb3 ge nb3 si nb sn right in case of type 1 superconductors have lower critical temperature typically in the range of 0 kelvin to 10 kelvin and uh, type 2 superconductors have high critical temperature typically greater than 10 kelvin right type 1 superconductors have low critical magnetic field typically in the range of point penta 0 49 tesla to 1 tesla and in case of type 1 superconductors they have high critical magnetic field typically greater than 1 tesla right these are some of the differences or some of the differentiation between type 1 and type 2 superconductors hope you understand thank you very much